let's get right into this. Over the weekend, um, there was a, uh, I, I could say just uploaded the video over the Labor Day weekend, but it was a debate. Destiny and uh, this guy named Jesse on Fire. I don't know. He's a right wing influencer. He's kind of a UFC guy. I, I, I've heard of this guy a few years ago. Um, and when I was into UFC, I'm not anymore. It's too, mag too MAGA right now. I, I can't watch the crap. It's I just can't do it. But for a time, I was into it, and I used to watch some of his videos. His analysis is actually very good. He, he knows UFC. Um, fairly intelligent guy. It's very kind of superficial, though. He, he really is kind of, he really is an idiot. Big, giant conspiracy dude, you know? So he's all over the place. He's terminally online. I apologize for my rooster boomer crowing right there. Uh, but, and... And to be fair, he's kind of he's got some redeeming uh, qualities. He's kind of a nice guy. Even if you even after the interview, he was like, "Hey, dude!" Like he's kind of like one of those, "Hey, dude, what's up?" He talks like that because I really enjoyed the interview. So he's kind of friendly and all that, but completely gone. Total Trump guy. He's got Trump posters in the background. Completely, and his whole thing is, uh, "You got TDS, TDS," and the guy. Here's the thing. Hey, Jesse on fire. You know UFC. You know MMA. Stick with that. Why did you have to go with the politics? You don't know anything. You don't know anything. You're an embarrassment. You're an absolute embarrassment. It's really disgusting. I'm going to put the full Destiny debate in here. It's like an hour and 15 minutes, maybe a little longer. And I'm also going to play a clip here. This is from Kyle Kalinske, Secular Talk. And he kind of breaks down some of the stuff, some of the highlights. Well, actually, I should call it some of the, the lowlights. <laughs> but this guy is so dumb. And, and what's sad is, like, there's so much out there. There's so much ignorance. There's so much propaganda crap. And people believe this crap. They believe. Here's the thing. I'll, here's this clip by Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? You don't believe in scientists and economists and scholars, people who spent their whole lives studying all this stuff, and yet, and yet you, you know, full uh, hook, line, and sinker, a guy, a, a, a fraud, who's been a documented fraud and a liar, who's been doing lying and cheating for decades. None of it makes sense. It's just North Korea propaganda crap, and it's poisoning. Like, like you know, who, excuse me, you know, Trump says that immigrants are poisoning. It's a disgusting word to say. That's what Hitler said, really, quoting Hitler. But no, it's poisoning this country. It's propaganda. This right-wing crap. I read a comment here. I actually just removed it. But saying that TDS is a psyops. And it was like a big, long paragraph. And he quoted George Orwell at the end. It was kind of fairly sort of well-written, but it was all wacky. You know, like, like, yeah, Trump, only Trump is telling the truth and everyone else is lying. It's just so absolute insanity. All right. So let me show you. I'm not going to bother like uploading the video, it takes too time consuming. I'm gonna do this quick. I'm just gonna hold up my phone. I hope you don't mind, or I'll just play the audio of Kyle Kalinske breaking down some of the low lights from this Jesse on fire dude. Ready? Eight slash discussion with this MAGA YouTuber. Now, to be fair, I don't know if this guy is. I don't think he's solely politics. I think he discusses a lot of different things, and he UFC. just happens to be a right leaning kind of guy. Totally. Now, having said that, look, if you're gonna. If you're going to agree to have a conversation with a political streamer like somebody like Destiny, um, you probably want to know politics, right? You probably want to be able to back up whatever claims you're going to make vis-a-vis -vis Trump. So anyway, um, they have this discussion. And this moment, which I'm about to show you here, I got to be honest with you guys. This is one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen yep. when it comes to political discussion or political debate. I'm not sure I've ever seen something this humiliating, which you're about to watch. So they've been talking about Trump for an hour. There's that dude right here. For an right hour. Here. And this guy has been bending over backwards to defend Donald Trump's actions while simultaneously saying, bro, I'm not even that into politics. I don't even know all that much about the guy, bro. I'm just <laughs> saying that so you know, my perception on it is a little different from your perception. And I like to, you know, when I look at people, I like to assume the best and try to see where they're coming from and not 
uh, straw man them. And that's generally my my disposition when talking about these things, unless it comes to Democrats, in which case they're evil and they're horrible and they're yeah, terrible. Of course, and they have of course. intentions and they are trying to control everything. But outside of that, I mean, look, bro, I don't know that much about Trump, but I, I, li I like him. He, he convinced me. All right. Anyway, yeah. so here we go. Look at the face plant that you're about to see. Do you agree? Do, are you familiar with, like, say, like the elector plot? The way that when, that <laughs> the when you vote for president, you vote for a slate of electors who vote for president for that state, right? Yeah, I know how, this, yeah, I know okay. how that works. Yeah. Donald Trump had seven different fake slates made up in, in every swing state. He had fake slates then to, from there to the uh, Electoral College. And the goal was to have Mike Pence pick the fake electors. That was like the plan on January 6th. That's why he kept saying he can send it back to the states. That's why he kept saying Mike Pence can come through for us. Like we believe in Pence. Like Pence has to come through for us. Pence has to be strong. What he wanted Mike Pence to do was to choose the fake electors. That was the whole point I, of it. I don't, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> and I can't take anything as uh, assuming that it's true because it's the one thing that we true. have been talking about extensively, I can't see any reasonable conclusion that your conclusion is accurate. Oh my God. Okay. Let's say that theoretically that was true. Do you think that that would be bad? Can we say at least that? <laughs> if if Trump made fake slates and asked somebody to fraudulently just pick them, yeah, of course that would be bad. If Trump made fake That's exactly slates what he and did. asked somebody to pick them, of course that would be bad. My brother in Christ, that is exactly what Sweet. happened. This is not a matter of debate. This is not a matter of different interpretations or opinions on the set of facts. That is just clear as day. Yep. Exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. <laughs> We're not done yet. Okay. That was. The, I'll play a little said, bit more here. Mike Pence can come through for us. What do you think he was talking about? I don't know. You said uh, fight like hell meant that they should raid the Capitol. Wait, no, no, wait. When he was asking Mike Pence, Mike Pence can do what we need to do. What do you think he's talking about there? What I'm saying is in our conversation thus far, when you're attributing meaning to things that people don't say directly, I disagree with your interpretation. So I don't I, I have no idea what he's talking about with Mike Pence. No clue. Yeah. We can't we just can't possibly know. Like, you know that, so for those fake slights, you know that like none of this is contested, right? right? Like this right. is all in open court. Like people have been... I'm not going to pretend like I know about the story because I don't, I don't know anything about it. Okay. okay. But you can literally see, I, I, I mean, I can send you, like said, there's like, you, there are the, the, the fake slates have been filled out. All mm -hmm. of that information is yep. publicly viewable that Trump's campaign, that Eastman Chesbro um, and people working for Trump Giuliani were trying to organize or they successfully organized fake electors mm -hmm. in seven different states to get them sent to Congress. That was the whole point of January 6th to stop the steal was to get Pence to choose the fake electors or to just reject all the votes because there's competing elector slates. I, I know nothing about that story. <laughs> okay, well, let's say theoretically, let's say that that was true. And he wanted Pence to choose the fake electric slates. And then he also sent a huge riot down to the Capitol to try to encourage Pence to do the right thing. Does it seem more likely that violence might have been like a part of the strategy to pressure the politicians there into choosing the fake elector slates? I mean, if we're talking about, I mean, a, a dragon could have come and landed on the Capitol if we're just talking about like make-believe hypotheticals. Oh. Oh, I okay, okay. so you get the idea the whole hour and 20 minutes is like this by the way destiny's excellent he is very good this guy's a genius man um destiny used to be a gamer that's how he started out video games he's got like he is an absolute genius he speaks really fast he's got the facts on his side and all that i really love him he's a young guy he's 34 he's a millennial very very popular on youtube thank god because he's he's a, one of the good guys um I'm not saying that Jesse on fire, well, he's dangerous, actually, because he's just spreading all these lines. And he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. I mean, just a complete, absolute moron. And then what really he said, I used to hate Trump. But when I went to a UFC event in Miami, you should have heard the crowd. It was like, I've never heard anything like it for like five minutes. I go, OK, gotcha. That's a good reason to believe. <laughs> I mean, see the logic on these these people? They're just nuts. But like I said, at the end, he was very cordial. He said, hey, I enjoyed this dude. And I go, dude, you just fucking humiliated yourself. You look so stupid. I don't even know if they know how stupid they look. All right. More to come. I like to keep it under 10 minutes. As I said, um, when I get to if, if and when I get to 10,000 subscribers, long form podcasts and guests. All right. Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here in Tabor Talk. Both of the links will be in the comments section. Watch it all. It's awesome. Funny. Too. Okay, so there you go. Make sure you like and subscribe. It helps with the algorithm. Spread it around. Uh, peace, love, and understanding here on Tabor Talk.